Assalamu alaikum, Louisville. So, Louisville, it's time to revolt. It's time to take back our streets. It's time for us to be a democracy, actually get some freedom. We're fighting for freedom and democracy overseas when we don't even have freedom and democracy here. Where's the freedom and democracy? There's no freedom and democracy. You show me where it's at. Where do we actually get together and have a consensus decision and make decisions amongst ourselves? Not even on our political system. It's not at our work. It's not at our schools. It's not in our homes. It's not even in our political system. 12% are not voting. Kentuckians do not vote. We are not for democracy. We don't care about politics. We don't care about our futures. We don't care. And we have some of the most biggest problems in America. So while Brashear's accepting Obama bucks in the billions, he's also preaching about the dysfunction of Washington. So he's biting the hand that feeds. He's taking all these Obama bucks, and now there's no Obama bucks. And now they're all like, where are we going to get all this money for all this shit we was doing before? Well, you better hope Obama gets back in there so we get a, a stimulus bill, too. We needed those Obama bucks. Obama bucks helped Kentucky. Well, Kentucky actually gets more than our fair share than the rest of the states. Rand Paul being elected is going to hurt the amount of money that Kentucky gets. They Somebody had asked him, are you willing to sacrifice Kentucky's, you know, so much money that they were getting? Are you willing to sacrifice that for your ideological beliefs? And... I'm not for sure. I don't I don't think he is actually. So, you know. <laughs> so I'm thinking that Obama Bucks is a good idea. And I'm also <laughs> um if Kentucky's debt ratings agencies downgrade Kentucky's bonds this year, so now our borrowed funds will come at a higher cost. When Steve Brashear ran for governor in two thousand and seven he won because of his promise to legalizing slot machines at horse tracks, horse race tracks. That should have been on the ballot. It wasn't on the ballot. It's not going to be on the ballot this year. They're saying T Brashear wasn't a team player, didn't work with the legislators. So it wasn't a player during the General Assembly. He wasn't a player. He was letting the legislators do whatever. He wasn't taking a blackboard down to the basement. He wasn't being like, uh, um, what's that older man's, the old uh, uh, J Julian Carroll. Julian Carroll, who was the last strong governor. Uh, Brashear's not a strong governor. This is how corporations buy their influence. As the campaign contributions, just the most telling portion about Brashear is his campaign contributions. So you could tell when he's he's got a uh, all that money from the uh, payday lending machines. He takes money from King Cole. He takes money from. You could just tell by the way he acts um, with the students. Two times the students came down to uh, protest for a rally for higher education at U of L, and both times. He did not show up. He was MIA. So how come the governor doesn't meet up with the groups of people that come to talk to him? I mean, it's not like we're in his office saying, demand, you know, do this. We're just saying, hey, we're frustrated with our education. What are you working on? And you should have some responses for us. I think you should talk to us a little bit and deal with our questions if this is a true democracy. But it's not a democracy. Since 12% of us vote, they don't give a fuck about what we think. They don't give a shit. Except for election day. And then they're going to run a bunch of fucking ads and get you stupid fuckers voting for them. You know, uh, however they want you to vote. That's what they're doing. And they're winning. They look at Rand Paul. Look at uh, the guy from the 4th District up in Kentucky. These uh, these uh, Tea Party folks know how to manipulate Kentucky, and they're doing it very well. Kentuckians, I guess, I don't know if they're not smart or if they just want to be manipulated or just happy that somebody actually cares about, you know, talking to them and wants their vote. I don't know. I'm not sure what is up. I would say the low education and health care and high prison rates and high... Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, health problems and low turnout rate, all of it. I think it's all connected to poverty. I think it's all connected. So, revolt, Louisville. We need to stand up. It's time to stand up and speak out. You heard about the the camping ban, so nobody's allowed to camp. If you're a uh, if you're in Louisville and you think you have a right to camp. Well, you can't. You're not allowed to camp. Sorry, Louisville. You have no right to camp. Don't even fucking think about putting your tent out on the lawn here or on the sidewalk. You have no right to spend the night. Don't even think about sleeping. Homeless people, you're going to have to find, you know, woods that are bigger than three acres or a bridge that's bigger than three acres. So it, it makes rich people who have lots of fucking land not have to uh, camp out in public. It makes the poor people not have to camp out. So the law is equal, right? It's equally going after the 1% and the 99%. Yeah, right. Bullshit.
One percent got plenty of places to camp, and if the one percent went to fucking camp, they'd be able to camp. That's why it was only three acres. There's like some exception. I should pay attention to what that exception is because that's telling about who controls uh, the puppet that is known as Greg Fisher, the trader. I mean, uh, the mayor of Louisville, who's got lots of people in Fisherville. Lots of homeless. At least 10,000 people. At least 10,000 people are homeless in Louisville. At least 10,000 people. Yeah, great system. The system is working for a lot of people. I guess you need janitors, right? You need somebody to clean out the toilets. You need somebody to take out the trash. You need somebody to do that shit, so... Uh, that's why capitalism will... It does not work because it maintains a poor class. And since we always maintain a poor class... Uh, nobody, we will not be equal. There will always be a rich class and there will be a middle or working class and then there will be a poor class that's exploited to a greater degree than the working class. So, Governor Steve Brashear's re-election campaign has raised more than 4.1 million since May, uh, which is four times more than Republican folk David Williams raised in that period. So Brashear's campaign is raising way more than David Williams' campaign was, and he wound up winning, which is usually how it happens. If you got more money, you win, because you can buy TV ads. That's usually the conventional wisdom. Um, so I don't know. The corporation, something that I mentioned before, both Williams and Brashear were on their knees for King Cole. King Cole owns Frankfurt, okay? It's not even a question. They all bail down to King Cole. Whenever King Cole says they they hate Obama and the EPA and they're blaming everything on Obama, but I think it's going to turn on them because Obama's not an asshole. He's a good guy. He's given Kentucky lots of money, more than our fair share. And especially since we haven't been voting for him, why does he have any interest to actually keep on giving us money unless the Democrat people actually start standing up? Democrats, stand up. Kentuckians, come on, we all need to stand up. All of us Kentuckians have got to stand up. We've got to stand up in solidarity with the 99%. We all are all the 99%. It's an economic argument. There's 1% who owns like 40% of the pie, and the rest of us own like that Jack Dilly shit. So 1% to 99% is not literal numbers, but it's the right imagery. It's the right picture. So Governor Steve Sears' re-election campaign was $4.1 million. Uh, he reported having $1 million from May to October, according to disclosure forms filed Wednesday with the Kentucky Register of Election. And financed the campaign, said that it purchased $1 million of television advertisements for the final weeks of the campaign. Election day is November 8th. Williams reported raising $1.02 million for the general election and had $261,000 in cash on hand. Gatewood Galbraith, Gatewood Galbraith, who occupied Louisville, should have endorsed last year, and yes, they should be endorsing candidates, candidates that have are speaking out and they're saying the right things, especially the things that Occupy supports. We should be supporting them with our endorsements, so that way they get out there and speak, and they can speak on behalf of Occupy. That's when you have power. Gate, Gatewood, um, Galbraith will, never won. He never got the media's attention. They never took him serious, which is bullshit, but all of his views, his policy views, which is the most important thing, was the best thing that for Kentucky would have made us from the poorest to one of the richest states, and then we would have also had more social spending, more college dollars, more liberty, more freedom, um, the, the police would have backed off on the war on drugs, so many things Gate would have, would have brought. Uh, homosexual uh, relationships he was in favor of, he was a Huey Long, he was a Huey Long, he was a liberal, he was a New Dealer, he was like William Justice Goble. And just like William Justice Goble, the fucking white Confederate fucking piece of shit, old guard, fucking kept him down. The Courier Journal kept him down. The Courier Journal fucking hated William Justice Goble. The Courier Journal was so fucking racist. They hated the Germans when we got here. They hated us Germans then. They hated us Germans in World War One. They hated us then. They hated us now. They always gonna fucking hate us. Fuck the media. Even Jake Payne, the liberal, he's a gatekeeper. What he doesn't take serious, nobody will take serious because he's on the left. He's the one that says, here's the stories that are relevant, and here are the stories that are not relevant. He needs tragedy and poverty so he can keep on with the sensational stuff, and that's fine. He's a marat, okay? I got some respect for you, Jake. I always have. You're a marat, okay? And when the French Revolution needed a marat, they needed somebody just always talking a bunch of shit all the fucking time. But there's something wrong with you. You pissed off for some fucking reason. You need to settle that shit inside yourself. Okay? And uh, it's a little psychopathic to be laughing at everybody's misery. I know it's like 
the Holocaust, you know, it's a tragedy. How do you react to the Holocaust? It's hard to fucking swallow that, you know? I mean, it's, I believe it's true, but uh, actually, you know, to be in the mindset of the Holocaust, you, it's easier to laugh, and I think it's a coping mechanism. So I get it, but it's, I don't know. I wish you were more democratic, and I wish you actually gave a fuck about the issues the way I give a fuck about them, because I want poverty to end, and I want, uh, you know, I want, I want the, uh, the problems that Kentucky are faced with to stop. I want Kentuckians to not have so much insanity, and to have better teeth, and to have better health, and a better education, and, uh, to look at engineering, and to start reaching for the skies, and try to get more for our lives, um, that's what Kentucky needs to do, so, it's, uh, it's frustrating when you you feel like you're the only one that actually gives a fuck about improvements. Sure, we can make a joke and we can laugh and even, I mean, fuck, I give John Stewart, you know, the same fucking bullshit. How come he doesn't run for president? Colbert ran for president. Why don't you, John Stewart? So the media, they, they generally, all the gatekeepers, they talk about the news that they think are relevant. Conan O'Brien only picks a certain amount of news topics. They don't pick all the headlines. They just pick the ones that they care about. So, uh, John Stewart talks more about New York issues. Conan O'Brien talks about some other states' issues, too. Um, so, yeah. Gatewood Gabbath was the people's champ. He is the lone, truthful voice in Kentucky. Nobody else speaks the truth but Gatewood. He was the only one that told us the truth. And we didn't listen to him because we don't fucking listen to the truth. We don't pay attention to the truth. When the media endorses somebody, they get behind a fucking bullshitter. Rand Paul got elected by bullshitting. Everybody gets into office by bullshitting. Brashear ain't going to Fancy Farm because he don't have to go to Fancy Farm. Why the fuck would he have to go to Fancy Farm? Y'all don't pay attention. He's going to go to Fancy Farm just to get shat on by fucking Mitch McConnell, the fucking dickhead Republicans? Fuck the fucking Republicans. They like that shit. They like the fucking blood. That's all they want is the fucking blood. And instead of uh, getting excited about some fucking debate Republicans, why don't you actually start legislating and get into the fucking office and start doing something for the people? Start compromising. Start getting some deals for the people. You're fucking this country up. And you're not going to win. You're going to fucking lose. Mitt Romney is not going to win. I don't give a fuck how much money you spend into him. He's a fucking douchebag. Obama's cool. And he's got a cool factor. Mitt Romney is not fucking cool. He's not funny. And he's a dick. And he's a socio-psychopath. He's fucking, he's fucking crazy. He's for the rich. Economics. All the economics. Are you kidding? Mitt Romney. There's no chance of Mitt Romney winning. No chance of Mitt Romney winning at all. So... Gatewood Galbraith, the people's champ, he uh, reported raising $165,000 and about $60,000 of that came uh, this reporting period. Most of our contributions are $10 or $20, Gatewood said, or Gateweed, as Jake Payne liked to mock him right before he fucking died. Oh, that burns me the most, Jake. God. You're going to piss on fucking Gatewood right before he fucking died. Fuck you, man. Fuck you. You're stopping the emerging candidacies. You're stopping the independent movement. You single-handedly, motherfucker. There's been at least four people that I've heard have not ran in Louisville because of your fucking dumbass. They say, no, I don't want to fucking go up against Jake Payne. I'm not going to fucking run. And you know what? All you give a fuck about is the money. But if people can win a candidate, uh, uh, they can win a position of power without a fucking penny. Because it doesn't take money to win a campaign. It takes votes. It takes people's votes. That's what wins a campaign. So I think you could talk to people and shake people's hands. Neither Mitt Romney or Obama is going to give Kentucky much uh, attention whatsoever. Neither don't vote for Obama or Mitt Romney. Kentucky is a safe state. Kentucky will go to Mitt Romney. We all know that. It's a safe Republican, fucking backwards, Confederate, racist, bunch of dick, white hair. There's a bunch of white assholes in Kentucky, okay? We know that it's going to go Mitt Romney. Since it's a safe state, Mitt Romney ain't going to spend any money here. He knows he's got it. Obama's not going to try that much. He knows he's got it. We might see Joe Biden. <laughs> Joe Biden went to West Virginia um, since, you know, they're fucking racist just as much as uh, Kentuckians are. Uh, but we also have a progressive strand here in Kentucky, and it's been progressive for a while. Muhammad Ali, George Clooney, Ashley Judd, Johnny Depp. We got progressive people. William Justice Goble, New Dealer. Okay? He was against the monopolies. He fought for the corporations. Our, our Constitution of Kentucky makes revolution legal. We're allowed to revolt against the government. It's, a, it's in our Constitution. Kentucky, you're allowed to revolt against your government. If there's no peace, safety, happiness, or protection of property. There's like four things, and I believe those are the four things. Peace, happy, safety, and uh, protection of property. So, 
Come on, Kentucky. We can do better. Viva la revolucion. Come on, Louisville. Stand up. Speak up. Be brave.